Do you have a passion for education, but you don't want to be stuck as a teacher your entire career? Well, you've come to the right place. This is Steve from College Express, and today we are going to be breaking down some alternative job paths you can go as an education major. If you're aiming to be part of the administration, you may need to be a teacher for at least a little while. Such positions as being a principal and superintendent require someone that wants to be in a leadership role and can handle the day-to-day -day things going on in the school, such as managing the staff and resources to overseeing disciplinary actions. Are you someone who would prefer creating teaching plans rather than actually teaching them? Well, going down a path of curriculum design might be the actual place for you. With such positions as instructional coordinators and standardized test developers, you will be required to have a deep understanding of a subject to help create and implement a curriculum plan. An alternative route would be going to work for an education company while doing this same thing, or freelancing for a website such as Teachers Pay Teachers. Are you someone that wants an interpersonal connection with your students on a more one-on-one -on -one base? Well then going into student counseling might be your route. With such careers such as being a guidance counselor or school psychologist, you get that one-on-one -on -one connection that you really want. Does being a student activities director or a residential director sound interesting to you? And you would prefer to work with your students in a more relaxed environment? Then going into a recreational or student life path might be the way for you. Does the world of politics while focusing on education sound interesting to you? Well, applying for jobs such as the Department of Education or becoming an educational lobbyist might be the path for you. That requires someone that will be passionate about implementing policies and practices to make the educational world more efficient and understandable. Are you someone that likes to write, but you don't want to be an English teacher the rest of your life? Well, going into the writing and publishing world might be for you, uh, especially in the world of textbooks. There are always need for authors and editors. And if that doesn't sound interesting, there are always spots for educational reporters and media outlets across the country. Are you someone that would rather work with little kids and are interested in early childhood development? Well, working with a daycare or even being a nanny might be for you. I know, don't play down being a nanny because there are some families with higher incomes that will offer handsome salaries for nannies with a background in education. Are you someone that likes to motivate people and you would rather work with adults than children? Then becoming an adult educator might be for you. With such positions as being an adult ESL teacher or helping adults get their GEDs to even being a life coach. People that work as an adult educators have said that the work is extremely personally rewarding. For those that would like to continue to teach but in an alternate setting than a traditional school system, this is probably the route for you. Teaching in an alternative system such as being a museum educator or a tour guide for a local attraction, this is the way for you to go while be still being able to teach. On the chance that someone actually likes to teach K-12, through there are other opportunities still for you. Uh, this section is more for those who want a little more independence in the regular school system. Uh, you could be a private tutor, a homeschooling teacher, you could teach abroad. It's just for those who want to continue to teach but outside of the normal teaching systems. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.